Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so in this video, we're going to learn how we can implement artificial neural network uh, to predict something in MATLAB using the neural network fitting tool in MATLAB. So I'll start from the beginning. Uh, uh, let me define the data that uh, we're going to use to train and what will it predict in the end. Uh, I have a priority list. I have a few buses. It's a 33 bus system of IEEE. I have prioritized them according to whatever the user needs. And there are different uh, load at each bus. So uh, according to the loads, uh, I have two uh, sources, solar panel and this uh, photovoltaic solars and this wind turbine. Uh, so these are providing the corresponding uh, powers to meet the requirement of this load. For example, at 16 kilowatt, solar is providing 16, wind is providing zero. At 21 kilowatts, PV is providing 20 and wind is providing one and so on. So in this uh, specific data set, uh, we will have these three as inputs and these two as outputs. So because we need to uh, tell uh, which bus, basically priority list you may add it or not, it doesn't really matter. So we, uh, we basically need to tell uh, that at that specific bus, I have this specific load and I'll ask the artificial neural network to predict what should be the output of solar panels and the wind turbine. So these are the uh, inputs and outputs. So let me just make the variables here. Okay, I'll add, click here at a new variable. I'll rename it to X train. X will stand for the inputs. I'll press enter. For the inputs, I have these three data sets. So this should be about 1000, 2000 for now. I don't only have this. 350 roundabout. So I'm gonna paste it here. Control E, and I'm gonna make a trans transpose variable. So this is a, like this. And now I'm gonna go to home, add a new variable. This. Take care. We're gonna make a white frame. Enter. And uh, now uh, the outputs. So these were my outputs. This and this. So I'm gonna select them. Now I'm gonna paste them here. And transpose variable. Okay. So I have no. okay, now I need to create another variable that I will be like X test or I can name it anything I want. This should will be used for me to predict or to check what my outputs are. I will just fill it now and we'll see about it later on. Okay, now we will go to this window and we will write this NF tool. NF tool and press enter. And that will open up, open this uh, neural uh, network fitting app. So, in the first page, you don't need to do anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a straightforward. Okay, so we have this variables in the workspace because we have added them. So the inputs is the x text, and sorry, x train, x for train for training, and y train is the outputs. So it is a matrix column. I will ch click here uh, for the matrix rows. It also says you that it should be the columns. Okay, so now I'm gonna click on next and uh, this is a validation and testing percentage that you can select for example uh, When you need to train something this is a percentage how much do you want to train it and how much do you want to check? Uh, whether the training is all good and fine and everything is okay And uh, this is the testing uh, that you check what your training has yielded So how much of that you should do for example if I choose both of them 30 30 percent i will only train the overall system 40 percent and i'll just validate and test so this is not a very good percentage Most probably you need something like this it, it, it depends on you 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 can select it uh, as usual uh, or uh, the recommended or the by default is 15 and 15 percent so let's go ahead with 10 and 10 percent more training is better uh, for something to be uh, good this is the definition of all the training and stuff so we go next and number of hidden neurons this is usually the standard 10 we don't need to change it we can decrease it we don't really need to do it now okay so these are the algorithms that i can use uh, to train the neural network so the most widely used and the most accurate is this levenberg marquardt uh, algorithm so i'm gonna just stick with it and i'm gonna click on this train button and i can see here this mean squared error and this regression for now it is zero. Okay, so the iteration, uh, the training is done. And now I can see 
uh, this val these values here. So I can click on this plot regression to see uh, what are my outputs. But uh, what sh you should uh, get from here is this: that all these values should be about very near to one. As you can see, this is e power minus one. So that is into 10 to the power minus one. So this is basically 0 0.98. This is basically basically 0 0.96. And this is 0 0.98. You can read this definition, and this should be near to one. Uh, the more it is near to one, the more accurate results you should have. So it is quite near, near to one 0 0.98, 0 0.96, 0 0.98. It is quite near one. It looks like it should look like a good result. Let's see plot regression, and it should plot in a minute. Okay, there it is. So the training uh, was very near to the fidget line, and the validation was perfect, very, very good. And the test result uh, was also quite good. And uh, this overall, the whole system, the whole neural net network, uh, this is the value. It should be one for perfect accuracy, but this is good enough. Uh, we can, if we don't like this data, we can just retrain it. We will do it in the later stage. Uh, but for now, I like this data and I'm gonna go ahead and click on next. I'm not gonna change anything. You can change uh, perform additional tests here by changing uh, by giving the inputs and outputs. But we're gonna not gonna do it for now. Okay, so he here uh, we can uh, click on this simulink diagram to create. Uh, I'll, I'll click here. Okay, so it will open a block like this. Uh, this is a uh, the neural network that you have created for the specific system of yours. So, and if you click on this part, uh, MATLAB. Uh, code generation it will generate the code uh, that is specific this is in terms of the uh, the coded lines that your neural network uh, will perform and uh, if you if you click on this uh, the matlab it will create a function so you can uh, double click on the symbol and can get the function and this you can do uh, click uh, to get the graphical diagram of details and for your presentation or stuff so this is the last part and you this is a variable that will be saved in this uh in this workspace so i'll i'm just gonna go ahead and click save results i'm not i don't have to finish it or i could if i want these results for now i'm gonna minimize it i can close this one okay so yeah okay so this is the variable and now i'm gonna call it and uh, uh, this okay now I'm gonna test it I'm gonna test it I, I have defined this new variable I defined it in the start I told you I would define it in later on so uh, this is the bus number uh, this is a priority number that according to my data is this is one and two and three uh, bus seven was one for all these and bus 12, 12 11 was two and bus three was nine according to my data set i had three inputs so i defined three things or i could have only defined two things if i didn't have this priority list so this is bus number seven and this is the load demand so this is the priority list number this is the bus number and this is the load demand now uh, what i want is two things here what should be the solar panel voltage uh, power and what should be the wind turbine power so i need these two are missing and for the second part, uh, the second priority list, bus number 11, 13 kilowatts volt, what should be the voltage of solar panel, what should be the wind turbine. Similarly, these two are missing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run this. Go to this live editor, run. The predicted output is this, uh, that uh, for, the, for the first part, for this uh, bus number one, uh, the seven, uh, bus number seven, priority number one, for the 22 kilowatts, uh, well, I, the solar panel should provide 19.9528 and the wind turbine should provide 1.8812. For the second bus, uh, the solar panel should provide this and the wind turbine should provide this. And for the third panel, the solar panel should provide this and the wind turbine should provide this. So this is how you can get uh, the predicted data uh, from the MATLAB. And if you want to utilize it in the Simulink, so this is uh, this block that we created. Now I can just double click here to give the input. As there were three inputs, so there are three by default added here. So if I want to do the best, the first one, uh, the first priority list was seven bus number. And what was the load demand? I think it was 22. So, okay. And now I run it. Okay, it's, it's complete in the simulation. And I double click on this output scope and it will open up the waveform and it will define uh, the two outputs. So, okay, here it is. 
if I zoom it in, it should give me the exact value 90.98 or whatever it is. It was uh, this should be the solar panel output, and this is about something between two less than 2.5 something. So, this should be the uh, wind turbine output. I can add the legends and see the stuff. So, this is uh, drawn in the simulink. So, I can uh, get the output using this, or I can get the output uh, by entering the data in this X test. Okay, so if I didn't you know, like the data, I could, if I don't see the results that are, they are not accurate enough, I can just go back uh, to this point and I can just retrain it. Let's retrain it. If I retrain it now, the values have changed. This is 5.5 .5 and this is 8. It should be, this is 0 0.81, 0 0.55, 0 0.98. This is not a very good result. I can just click plot regression and you shall observe and that the results are now very highly inaccurate you can see this this was 0 0.5 and it was very very inaccurate according to this best fit line should have been on top of it so i could use it and see what my overall results will be so now i rechange it now this is 6.39 these two look very good so we, we can observe this here that the first two will be yeah okay so these are on the best fit line and the test was really bad so I can just click on retrain, retrain, retrain until I find something good. Okay, so this looks like something better. So 9.6, 9.5, and now plot regression. I don't need to plot it, but just, okay, I'll, this looks good enough. So I can just click on retrain and do it again and again until I like the best one. If I like this one, okay, next, next, and next. Now this is, the variable has changed to net one. Okay, so now, I can create another a simulink diagram. So this will open another window and that will be according to, uh, that new block will have uh, these parameters. According to these parameters, it will provide you and predict the output. So now this is the uh, net one and this all uh, variables have one with them. Now I will save these results and this will appear here. Okay, so now if I uh, wish to plot it in this live register, now I will plot it with NT, NET1. The input, uh, the test input is the same. Uh, this text one, that this specific load and this and that. Now uh, we shall see uh, what this new result has. You need 90.9. Okay, so now it tells that you it should be 20.2976, and the values are different, a little bit different now. So uh, you can train with more data, and you can get the desired result that you should have gotten uh, using all these. So in the end, you just click finish, and it's all good to go. One more thing that uh, you should save this simulink uh, diagram. Uh, better to save it, otherwise you will just have to redo it, all the procedure again, uh, or rename it whatever you want. I will just say untitled. So this will have the specific values that you uh, defined here. And I recommend saving this workspace as well, because all of those values, if you if you wish to do anything uh, using this MATLAB uh, in in terms of this coding. Uh, all these values will go away if you run some other simulation of some other simulink diagram or just you close and reopen this uh, so you go to this home and you click on this save workspace and then you click uh, rename it to whatever you want I'm just going to rename it for now this the same thing uh, now when you now open a new matlab window you will just double click on this part and all these values of in this workspace will appear here and then you can just simply uh, run this code and you don't have to do the whole procedure again so do remember to uh, save this workspace and this simulink uh, diagram along with that code of yours if you require any of this so that's it uh, thank you very much if you like my video please subscribe to this channel and stay tuned thanks